Hi everybody, this is Andrea Friso and today we're going to talk about reusing alloys in casting. How many times can I reuse my alloy? This is a million dollar question that I've been asked many times. Because every caster knows how expensive it is to refine gold and silver. And so he may want to reuse as many times as possible his alloy. This question is very difficult to answer because it takes into account all of the parameters and aspects which may induce oxidation inside an alloy. As you know, oxidation for an alloy is a drawback because it reduces the shininess, it may increase the hardness of the alloy and it may lead to loss. All aspects which are unwanted in an optic of good quality. There is a wide amount of parameters inside the process that may lead to more or lower risk of oxidation. Just think about the casting equipment, whether it is open or closed. Then you have to think about the size and the kind of items that you are using. For example, an item with a high surface to volume ratio may react more strongly with investment while casting, so it will lead to a lower reusability of the alloy. Then there is the carotage. For example, an alloy with high carat simply has less reacting elements inside the formulation than an alloy for lower carat. And then there is the kind of alloy which is used. A white alloy containing zinc and nickel may react more strongly than an alloy which is only gold and silver based, for example. Then there are the processing temperatures. If you are used to overshoot the temperature to increase the fluidity of the alloy, it is normal to think that the alloy will age more quickly, so it will oxidize, then losing its luster and losing its properties. Then there is the kind of item that you use to create the, uh, the tree. So this may be the kind of investment that you're using or it may as well be the wax or the resin, which might lead to some uh, reaction or residues within the tree. So it's difficult to give you a number, but the golden rule that we can sure give you is to reuse a maximum of 50 scrap and 50 fresh metal, with the scrap metal being thoroughly cleaned and tumbled in a magnetic tumbler in order to avoid having any superficial oxidation or investment residues. So when giving you a number, I could say five to six times for a relatively simple alloy, like it can be an 18 or 22 yellow gold alloy, which has a lower amount of copper or other oxidizable elements. Whereas this number goes to three or four when going with white or red gold alloys and lower carats in general, which have a higher amount proportionally of zinc or nickel or copper, which are all elements that will oxidize or lose their properties more quickly than gold and silver. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time with another Knowledge Bite.